in this uh, video we are going to learn about list view control list view control is the new and improved control introduced from ASP.NET 3.5 version means it was introduced in ASP.NET 3.5 version and then it is uh, uh, keep improving in the latter version of ASP.NET it is a template based control that gives us better control over the layout it can be treated as an alternative of the data list control you can say that it is a next generation of data list control so now uh, in this how to we are going to learn that how to perform crude create read update and delete operation in the list view control so in order to demonstrate that what I have done is that I have created one ASPX page on and on the ASPX page I am going to copy paste some code from this ebook and then I will explain uh, the code uh, here it goes and from here till here copy and then paste it and then looks like we have some more code here so here okay okay fine now let me uh, format the selection now let me explain the whole code one by one on the top of the page after the form element we have one ASP level control that will be used to basically write the messages like insert message or update message or those things and then what we have done is that we have a list view control and in the list view control we have uh, cached some of the event for example I have cached on item editing event and uh, on on the on item editing event we are executing edit record server side method on item cancelling event that will basically execute cancel edit record method and then on item inserting event that will basically execute insert record uh, method and then on item updating uh, event that will execute update record server side method and uh, uh, then uh, as I told earlier that list view is a template based control so we ha will have to write the template that we want to you to be used by the list view so here I am going to use a, a HTML table so this is you can see that this is my HTML table t table tr th and all the columns I have written columns heading and and now once my heading is done then I am keeping one placeholder so this is my placeholder ASP placeholder and ID equal to item placeholder and runner equal to server and this placeholder will be used to generate the item for this particular list view that's why you can see that I have written item placeholder ID equal to the ID of this placeholder so in place of this placeholder what will happen is that all the items of the list view will be generated fine so this was the layout template once we have the layout template then we in order to generate the items we will have to write the item template so in the item template you can see that uh, I have written TR why TR because this heading is generated and after that all the records would come in another TR means another row so that's why my item template is just starting with the TR so ultimately when the record will be generated then this TR along with the value will will come here so in the in the item template what we have done is that the first column we have naturally the delete you can say so in the delete what we have done is that we have kept one link button control with runner equal to server text equal to delete and question mark and command name equal to delete here command name is very important because based on this command name only on item uh, one one minute okay looks like I have not uh, written the on item deleting event so let me write it on item deleting equal to delete record and uh, then when we'll copy paste the code of the uh, code behind we will write this uh, method as well so based on uh, this command name itself it is uh, it, it is decided that which event to raise so this is very important that in case you have a delete button then you are using the command name of the link button or the button control to delete and then because it is just item template so we are going to write the data from the data source as it is and and in order to write the data from the data source uh, we, we can use eval method so this is what uh, uh, we are using 
this is the similar as we uh, we write in the grid view control and then the last column is the edit you can see here the last heading was edit here so in the edit what we have done is that we have written the link button uh, text equal to edit and the command name is edit when this edit button will be clicked what will happen is that on item editing uh, server side event will fire and then if it will go to the edit mode then edit item template will uh, will come into the picture and it will basically render the template that is written in the edit item item template so here you can see that i have written first name and then i am i am writing the uh, text box and in in that text box i am writing the value of the text box means the existing value of that particular record for the first name for the last name for the age and for the active uh, column and once we have the record into the edit mode then we must have the update button so that user will be able to click update to update the record and then cancel button in case user changes his mind to not update the record and you can see that again here command name is update and command name is cancel for the cancel button now when the user will click update button then on item updating uh, event will fire when the user will click cancel button then on item cancelling event will fire these command names are very important you can change the text but you, you cannot change the command name otherwise you will not get the re desired uh, functionality and in case we want to insert the record then we will have to also use insert item template so here i have used insert item template where we have first name last name age and drop down uh, <coughs> and then we have another button here called insert and the command name is insert when this insert button will be clicked then what will happen is that on item inserting event will fire fine so this is the list view control from the top to bottom that i already explained here right now now let me copy paste the the code behind the server side code let me copy paste here the code behind and then i am going to copy paste the server side code if do not worry about that because i am going to explain each and every line of code so even if you are not understanding right now you will be able to understand when i will explain this code so let me exp uh, copy paste first and then correct them out here okay then this okay and that's it now let me just arrange them properly okay and then here we have this and then this and then this fine so now our code is looking nice now let me explain the whole code so first we have a page level variable called underscore const here that is that is basically getting the database connection string that was kept into the web.config file and then if the page will be loaded for the first time then naturally it will not be each post back so uh, uh, I am calling the populate data method and this populate the data method what we are doing is that we are instantiating the data table and using the edu.net code to load the data uh, from personal detail table and, popul and uh, populate it into the table object means data, data table object and then that data table object is being specified as the data source of the list view control and ultimately i'm calling the data bind method that will basically bind the data of this particular table into the list view so first let me show you how uh, it, it is looking like so let me just uh, uh, right okay but before i do that here you remember that i had written on item deleting so i will have to create one uh, uh, method here protected void object sender and list view uh, delete event args and this i will write the code for this method later on now let me run this page okay looks like there is some problem here uh, okay list view delete yes the event argument was wrong now you can see that my list view 
records are being displayed and you will notice that because I had written here that insert item position is equal to last item so you will see that the insert item template is coming in the last of the list view fine now let me click on edit naturally when I will click edit then what will happen the edit on item editing event will fire and that will basically call the edit record method so let me go ahead and show you the edit record method so here is the edit record method in this edit record method what we are doing is that we are setting the edit index of the list view to the list view edit event arguments new edit index here you can see that new edit index and then we are again populating the data into the list view so this what it will do is that it will uh, set that particular record for whom I will click the edit button into the edit item template so you can see that I clicked edit button for this particular record and the whole data is coming into the edit mode and that is allowing me to update the data so fine now let me just uh, update the data so I'm writing modified and then I'm writing modified and then I'm, I'm, I have selected no here and uh, now we have two options either to click on update or click on cancel if I want to click cancel then what will happen is that uh, on item cancelling event will fire and that will basically uh, execute cancel record method so let me show you the cancel record method in the cancel record method what we have done we have uh, specified edit in index equal to minus one so that will basically move all the records into the normal item template and there will not be any record into the edit in uh, edit template you can see this it is similar to the git view uh, data manipulations you can see that in the git view also we used to do the same thing now I am go going to the edit mode ag again and again I am writing modified and modified and here I am selecting no now when I will click update then what happens is that on item updating event fires and that basically call update record method so here is my update record method as you can see and in this update record method what we are doing is that we are first getting the data key of that particular record okay so in order to get the uh, data key of that particular record what we can do is that we can write list view one dot data keys e dot item index dot value because here we had a specified data key names equal to auto id so when we write this much of code this will basically give me the auto id column value of that particular record okay and then what we have done is that we have found out the item that is in the edit mode by using list view one dot items of e dot item index now this item variable will have all the control that exists into this particular uh, edit item template because this is in the edit mode and using that item what we can do is that you can find the control that exists into this edit item template so in this edit item template we have txt e first name txt is e l name txt e is and those things so i'm just trying to find all of them and unboxing them to the text box or drop down list whatever we have and then once we have these text boxes and a drop down list these are basically reference of the uh, uh, text boxes or drop down we have into the edit item template then what we can do is that we can use the edu.net code to execute the update select update a statement so here we are using a, a edu.net code to, uh, to execute the update statement in the real scenario or in the real time project you can call your uh, business access layer method or service layer method to update the record and once we have the updated the record successfully then what we can do is that we can again set list view one dot edit item edit index equal to minus one so that that particular record will come into the normal mode and then we have again populated the data so that the updated record will be affected will be visible here so let me click update here when I click update then you will notice that the tenth record is being updated you can see that Smith, Smith modified Paul modified too and then here I have selected no so that's why false is coming here so this was the update now let me show you insert now when we will click on the insert button what happens is that on item inserting event will fire and that will basically call insert record method so let me show you that 
and in the insert record method what we are doing is that we are getting the item in which we have insert template and using that item we are finding out the text box and drop down that we have you can see here in the insert item template we have this much of things txt fnf txt lnf txt is and uh, uh, drop active and using that by getting the reference of those controls we are executing the edu.net code to insert the record into the database and then we are again populating the data by by calling the populate data method so that the new record will also uh, be listed here so let me write it here demo recording 25 yes and when I will click insert are you sure I said yes and you can say that demo recording and all uh, this record has been added into the database successfully now let me uh, uh, click on delete when I will click on delete then what will happen is that this uh, particular uh, item on item deleting event will fire and that will basically call delete record method and in this delete record method remember that I had written it here now here what will happen is that we will have to again write the code because it is not already written so let me just uh, write the code and to write the code what I will do is that I will just copy paste some code here and modify the modify the code that will be required for the deletion ok now first let us get the the, the, the data key value so auto id equal to uh, list view one dot data keys e dot item index dot value dot to string fine and then here we are writing delete from demo data sorry personal detail table because my table name is personal detail you can see delete from personal detail where auto id is equal to auto id and naturally we will have to pass the auto id variable auto id is the parameter of the SQL statement and this auto id should be basically coming from here yes and then what we will do we will execute the uh, the execute non query method that will basically delete the record so it will record deleted successfully and then it is not needed here and then I am again calling the populate data method that will basically repopulate the data so now let me click the uh, delete uh, uh, button here so delete and are you sure I send yes and you can see that demo record has been deleted successfully so this is the way to basically insert update and delete and also populate the records into the list view